Borat subsequent movie film. This is the follow-up to the 2006 classic. Before I give my thoughts on this movie, I'll just give a quick rundown of what I think about the first film as well as Sasha Baron Cohen as a whole. I think the first Borat is one of the funniest movies ever made. I think it's a top five comedy of all time. It makes me laugh just as hard now as it did 14 years ago when it came out. I think it's just a brilliant brilliant movie and I think Sasha Baron Cohen is an amazing man and so influential I think when it's all said and done we'll look at him with the same reverence that we look at Mel Brooks or John Belushi or Robin Williams Leslie Nielsen is like one of the great comedic performers of our time there would be no Nathan for you if not for Sasha Baron Cohen there would be no Impractical Jokers if not for Sasha Baron Cohen and I was so looking forward to this movie there's never been a better time to drop this movie than right now in the heart of 2020 I've seen it then I'm getting my thoughts on it. There is no actor in the world as committed to his characters as Sasha Baron Cohen. Any other performer, you would see at points in this movie, those moments where he looks at the camera, where he starts chuckling, he does the Jimmy Fallon thing. He is so committed to this role. He's so committed to this character and to this film. You you do forget at points. Like It's why the Oscars are garbage for not nominating comedic performances. This is a powerhouse performance, his commitment to this character. And another person who gives a powerhouse performance is the actress who plays his daughter, Maria Bakalova. I, I was wondering... 14 years later, if putting a female companion next to Borat would make this awkward, would make this out of place. It doesn't. There are moments in this movie that made me laugh harder than anything I have seen this year. And I'm sure tomorrow, when I'm thinking about this, there will be lines that will come into my head that will make me laugh out loud. There are some moments of sheer comedic brilliance. But the best thing about this film, and much like the first one, but even more so here, is it just has a giant pair of balls. Like this movie, and this is a weird word, but infiltrates and and gets you know gets to speak to people who are remarkably influential in today's political world and you probably know who I'm talking about Rudy Giuliani is a key piece of this movie and you watch it and it, and it, it's amazing to watch it is comedically brilliant it's also a little bit heartbreaking cuz you want to believe even in this age of of pol- politicians doing scummy things you want to believe that the people within the political realm, even if you disagree with their opinions, have, you know, good intentions, are are, are are charming people trying to do the right thing, even if you disagree with them. You watch this here and it's, it's like, no, there's just people who are just messed up. Political officials, elected officials, people who are in charge of major decisions in this country who are just complete buffoons. It would be very easy with both these movies to just exploit people's ignorance, to just exploit people's idiocy. I think there's a balance to both these films that other... Uh, creators have been unable to capture. Yes, there's people in this movie who say ridiculous, horrifying, ignorant stuff, but there's also characters, I think, who are real people that are incredibly kind, that kind of open their arms to Borat and his daughter. There's a babysitter character in here that is like, I mean, one of the nicest people that that you could ever possibly come across, and I I give it credit for having that balance. The movie doesn't come across as mean-spirited because there is kind of a 50-50 balance there, and I think it just speaks to Sasha Baron Cohen's keen ability to capture just kind of the, the everyday you know nuances of American people. There are things about this movie that don't work. In the first Borat, I mean I'm I'm lowballing it here. 95% of the comedic bits work perfectly. Here, it's like 60%. Now, that 60% is better than most movies 100%. There are moments that I was watching it and saying, you know what, this moment isn't working for me. This moment isn't as funny to me. And I think the big reason for that is that there's a lot of moments in this movie that do appear edited, that do appear staged, that do seem to have actors as opposed to real people. And I, I really wonder if the pandemic screwed up a lot of what Sasha Baron Cohen was intending to do here. It lacks some of the freshness that the first movie had because I think there are a lot more hidden camera moments. There are a lot more moments that feel staged and a little bit forced. Now, the moments that are real and even some of the staged moments are still very funny, but it rarely reaches the heights that the first movie reached. I recommend this movie. I really think people should watch it. I think there's moments in it that border on being brilliant and poignant and, and even powerful, and I think it just goes to show Sasha Baron Cohen's the, the finger that Sasha Baron Cohen has on the pulse of this character. I think he's an amazing man, and someone who is such a brilliant performer does deserve to have his movies be seen by a whole lot of people. Falls flat at points, but overall, I do highly recommend it. I give Borat subsequent movie film. I had to do the impression at some point. A 7 out of 10. It is good. I could even see myself growing to appreciate it more. I think a lot of people will enjoy this 
more than I did. My expectations were extremely, extremely high, and it didn't quite reach them, but I do recommend the movie a whole lot. So that will do it for this review. You can follow me on Twitter at Castellani2014. I'll be making post-game videos again here really soon, so the link to that is in the description for this video. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, comment on this video. Let me know what you thought of Borat 2. I'd love to know. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you later. Peace and happiness.